Having painted Austin Powers using the Nico rule brush, I wanted to try out doing a landscape, and this is what I came up with, painted with a Nico rule brush in Procreate. Let's get right into it. So here we are in uh, Procreate. I'm straight in with that Nico rule brush, and I'm actually using uh, a palette. I think it's the Turner palette. Yeah, it's the Turner palette that I created a while ago I made a series of paintings called painting in the style of and each video I uh, selected the colors of uh, a painting of, of the person I was copying so I did like Turner and Cezanne and um, Ockney and quite a few others so if you haven't checked that series out uh, I'll put a link in the description below so you can have a look at those but I sampled the colors of a, a painting so this is what I'm using I'm using the Turner colors for this one so I'm not guessing by selecting off the color wheel I'm actually using a palette of colors I thought they they were really appropriate for this painting in actual fact if you want the palette uh, there I think I made them all available as a free download through my website so I'll put a link in for that as well so anyway this Nico rule brush uh, I was as I said earlier I uh, painted the uh, Austin Powers uh, look-alike character using the Nico rule brush and I thought this brush would be so cool for um, doing a landscape so I wanted to try it out. So this is the, the scene I've selected. It's in Whitby. It's the abbey um, at the top of the hill. Uh, this is the abbey that um, inspired Bram Stoker to um, uh, put it in one of his books as when a Dracula comes to England. I believe that's right. I might be wrong. So if you know better put in the description below because I have been known to get that that story wrong from time to time but anyway Whitby it's great they love they love vampires and there's lots of things going off about vampires in Whitby but I liked it for the scenery and I painted quite a few uh, pictures of um, Whitby now anyway this painting I begin by pretty much doing the all on one layer but I'd got in my mind that this was going to be a multi-layered painting I was going to use lots of layers with multiply mode um, applied and some with uh, maybe screen applied or add or something like that for the lighter colors the multiplies for the darker colors but at first I'm just interested in getting in these shapes and I'm just sort of rushing them, uh, roughing them in with a Nico rule brush. It wasn't the easiest thing to do, I have to say, because the Nico rule brush has got this habit of sort of spinning uh, around when you least expect it and you get this odd marking. But you can see what I'm doing. I actually uh, I did create a, another layer. I, I'm, I was lying when I said I only used one layer. I would create a layer for the uh, buildings and then use the eraser to get the actual shapes in. So I put the color in with the um, Nico rule brush and then you can see there I'm chiseling them away rather like I did in Teosui sketches when I drew the rows. Same sort of technique really. Uh, and, and that worked really well. So I've still got that nice sort of texture of the Nico rule. But uh, I was able to sort of control the shapes a lot better uh, by erasing. So, um, yeah, forget it when I said I drew it all on one layer. I didn't. I layered it up. and But I kept flattening the layers. Once I got an effect I like, I just flattened them down. At this point, you can see I got kind of fed up with drawing buildings and just roughed some uh, uh, shapes in at the top right because I do I do get um, I do get bored there we go so I'm putting a little bit of detail in now um, this is the sort of brickwork at the front of the um, harbour wall I suppose it is and I think I'm in could well be in a, a blend mode on a different layer I kind of was swapping between the two all the while usually when I, I work on a, a blend mode I work on, on the old canvas get it all done in one go and then um, 
move on to another layer in this case i was flipping backwards and forwards between the layers all of the time so one minute i was um using the um multiply there then i then i went back in and i went to the layer underneath it uh, and i was working backwards and forwards like that and you can see i'm sort of keep opening that layer window and i'm sort of just switching backwards and forwards an unusual way for me uh, to to work really and i think it was because of the nico rule brush um the the uniqueness of it i kind of screwed that building up a little bit and i had to sort of go back into it and rework it but it came together in the end in the end i love the textures of this brush it's just so cool if you if you draw really light just let the stylus flow over your ipad you get these really uh, delicate marks and i use that for the highlight in the water you'll see a little bit later on so it's got this really nice soft edges going off look i use the eraser there to get that sort of rectangular shape triangular shape sorry not rectangular uh the, the eraser thing did work really well this canvas is quite big it's about 20 by uh, 16 or something like that and i did run out of layers i had to start flattening layers down it wouldn't let me uh create uh, another layer so putting the details in it worked really well for the windows i just love the the fact that you could just make one little mark and you've got your windows in there you, you don't with it being a square type brush i, I really love that that worked fine and on the doors so it's all coming it's looking all right i'm getting the buildings in there but the whole thing looks a bit flat and and bland at the minute but i've got this plan where i'm going to um put some layers with some really uh, bold shadows over the top of it in a while to to lift it all up because it's at that point that it, it comes together because at the minute it is still all looking a little bit uh, flat and um, comic book like really I would say there's no sort of shadows in there too i've got a little bit of shadow work going off towards the left here we go so i've created a multiply layer now and i'm whacking in these shadows and you can see i kind of make them up a lot a lot of the time and just let sort of little bits of the buildings shine out so there we go that multiply layer has made just a massive difference and then i create another multiply layer and go over it again even darker uh, and then I create another layer over that. This is just a regular layer and I'm putting in the uh, blue sky, a little bit of water. And then um, I, I use the, obviously the Nico rule brush, it's the only brush I'm using, just with vertical strokes to get that uh, reflection in the water. And then uh, I erase, and this is on its own layer, so I could erase the edge of the uh, reflections where it sort of butts up against the sand and the bank put in a little bit of an highlight there but i want I, I really like that sort of um where the winds caught the uh, water at the front of the painting i want to go that so i go in with a not even darker on that um shadows and there we go i put a dark layer in for the water change the opacity slightly so i've got the dark one in and then i create another layer over the top of that uh, i'm not quite there yet uh, but you'll see i'll create another layer i'll set the blend mode to add and then put some sparkly highlights in there we go so we've got the dark and the light and that's how i got that sparkle in the water by using so i've got a lot of layers going off there still working at it get it signed really pleased with that I, I do i think i changed the opacity of that water a bit i think that was a little bit too much so there we go that's the end of the painting that is my um abby at whitby hope you've enjoyed this video if you have big thumbs up as always is much appreciated if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because i've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them with you so hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye